Here goes nothing. Oh, definitely a place for kids. The giant container has been used to hold children. Was Sophia Capone held in the container? Yes. I think we can know, but let's look around first. Kid stuff? Undergarments? Boys underwear. Dirty. Ew. Doesn't look like the dress Capone said Sophia was wearing. Nah. Uh, well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. So the ballet shoes she's not wearing anymore. Because we have it. No adult could sleep here. And they have to see all the fighting every day. What do you have to do to a child before they draw something like that? That guy's clearly the bodyguard, right? The guy with the mask. Unless if there's more than one of those guys. These prisoners were treated reasonably well, all things considered. Uh, not really, but okay. Let's see then. Yes, we know there's children here because... A girl's shoe, identical to the one that Capone said his granddaughter Sophia was wearing. Would the kid's shampoo also be a point? Or actually... The forgeries belonging to Sophia Capone's kidnapper. A shoe, identical to the one described by Capone, and the documents used by the person pretending to be Sophia's uncle, make it certain that she was held here. Sophia Capone was here, but did she get out? They bought her a dress. for children's clothes, with yesterday's date. Aww. What do you mean by get out? Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sophia Capone. Oh, get out like that. According to the register, Ivankov was paid for Sophia, which means she was handed over to his customer. Sophia Capone got out of here, but did she get out alive? Hopefully. A hefty receipt for children's clothes with yesterday's date. Ah, they gave her nice clothes and stuff so the client would like her more. And then they clean her up. Shampoo. Someone wanted them to look perfectly presentable. Towels that are still damp. Nice shower. The damp towels, the children's shampoo, and the receipt from the children's clothes shop indicate that they washed and dressed the children before taking them away. I strongly doubt that they washed them just to kill them, so there is reason to believe that Sophia Capone is still alive. That's good. We're done here. Let's go. Already? I thought I'd have time to finish Act 4. Are you doubting my efficiency as a detective? That would depend on the quality of your conclusions. <laughs> Ivan Cobb is a human trafficker. He has various customers who make specific requests. Slavers, pimps, God knows what else. Kidnaps them and puts them in these cages, shackling them and feeding them like animals until he's ready to complete the order. When he has enough, or maybe when the designated day comes around, his customer comes here and decides which of his catches are satisfactory and which are not. What does he do with the rejects? 
For many people, this would be a problem, but not for Ivankov. Like a true boxing fan, he organizes fights between the failed candidates. Bloody tournaments, possibly to the death. I'm sure his men place bets, and that the whole sick spectacle, like the Roman circus, helps keep morale high. But, as in the circus, it's not just people that fight. There are animals, too. In these cages, Ivankov kept dogs. He forces the survivors to fight them, wearing boxing gloves, until the dogs tear them apart. And if anyone survives, Ivankov's own men finish the job. This leads us to the next problem. What does Ivankov do with the bodies? Easy. He cuts them up on this table, one by one. Alive, even, if they had the bad luck not to die in the arena. And then? I don't know. Maybe he throws them overboard, but that's always risky. Maybe if we interrogate him when he wakes up, he can tell us more. But that's not what really interests us. What really interests us is what's inside, or what was inside, this container. In recent weeks, Ivankov has kidnapped nine children for an anonymous client who pays him a fortune for each one of them. The most expensive item of all has been given the initials SC, our Sophia, as proved by one of her shoes, which I found in there. Today, or possibly last night, the customer took delivery of the children and paid in full. Before this, Ivankov bought them new clothes and gave them a shower. Why would he do that? Is it to sell them into adoption and wealthy families? I very much doubt it, but I can't figure out another reason. What I do think is that his client doesn't want to leave loose ends. I think he forced him to get rid of the rest of his prisoners. This is why they organized fights yesterday dismembered the combatants, and even killed all the dogs. Impressive detective work. Are you joking? No. Oh, man. Ah, let's take this piece of shit to Capone. What? They're old friends. I'm sure Alphonse will be happy to... Out of the question. Ah. You saw what he did to Burke. You want him to do it again? Want us to lose another witness? Christ, 20 years ago, I let a child murderer slip through my fingers. I won't let that happen again. What if the two cases are related? Claire is dead. Not gonna persuade you, am I? No. Okay. Ah. Remember this guy works for Al Capone. He's not actually on our side. Wake up, Elliot. <sighs> Are we there? No, still a ways to go. But from here, we have to go on foot. Claire's dead. I think we're about to see why or how. Because he just mentioned that he let a child murderer get away, right? So I'm pretty sure Claire is no longer alive. Hmm. Back to the past. We've been in the car for two hours. You going to tell me why we're here? Because we need to get there. Come on, Jim. Be patient. I told you it's a surprise. I want you to find out for yourself. Or don't you like surprises? I like them. Who doesn't? But what kind of surprise requires you to carry a gun? Name me one thing you can do in Santa Esperanza without carrying a gun. Fair enough. Touche. Our best friend, Jim Dockers. Do as I say and you'll see. Take it from Jim Dockers. Because you're my friend, right? 
Don't let your guard down. Have you heard of the Voduna cult? You mean voodoo? Dolls and needles? Yes and no. It's different varieties of the same thing. The Vodun religion from East Africa. In Cuba, they call it Vodou. In Haiti, it's Voodoo. Santa Esperanza had its own version. A little community that lived in these woods. No more than 200 people, I reckon. The occult. Had. Right. They say practically all of them died. A sort of civil war sparked up by betrayal. Betrayal between friends. Um... Jim, are you sure we're on the right track? He knows! The Bodonas place particular importance on a person's name. They chose a name for themselves when they reached adulthood, and they only revealed it to their partners and their descendants. Is that so? It is. The legend says that while he was out hunting with his right-hand man, the chief of the Bodonas was attacked by... Not such a dumb idea. I wish no one knew my name. Well, for the Badunas, it wasn't that simple. Didn't get to finish that sentence. Ah, shit. Help me with this, Elliot. Okay, this is all very interesting, Jim, but why are you telling me this and where are we going? Different names for it. Either to use nicknames similar to Indian names. Come on. Anyway, while he was out hunting, the chief of the tribe was attacked by a bear. Bear. Don't tell me you dragged me into a wood full of bears. I wasn't joking when I told you not to let your guard down. Shit. <laughs> the chief's wounds look fatal, so he confided in his best friend, the best hunter in the tribe, and whispered his true name to him. The hunter left him in the woods, went back to the village, and told the news to the chieftain's wife and children. Well, that's tough. However badly wounded he was, he was his partner. You can't leave your partner in the woods, whatever state he's in. Let's hope neither of us has to make that kind of decision today. Sullivan River, closing to the Donovan Dam, I think. I didn't think geography was your department. Sometimes I like to dabble in things that aren't officially my department. So I see. Stop! Oh my god! He knows! He knows we're having an affair with his wife! According to Baduna law, from the moment the hunter whispered the dead husband's name to the chief's wife, he would take his place. In what sense? In the eyes of the tribe, he became him. He had to take on his role, fulfill his duties, marry his wife, raise his children, and sleep with his wife. Yeah, I don't think he's too happy with us. Damn. Should be right here. What? The sign tells us which way we have to go. Must be hidden in the undergrowth. You look for it. I'll stand guard. No, I'll stand guard. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. I feel like this guy, when we're not looking, he might hit us on the head or something. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he knows. And uh, yeah, not very pleasant right now. Although, one thing to note is that this guy is a lot older than I am. At least it looks like. So that's kind of interesting. Huh, this burned out a long time ago. Weeks, I guess. It's raining. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Animal attack, no doubt about it. That's you are way too calm for this. There's a freaking dismembered hand right there. You're like, oh, a hand. Okay. Here's the sign. Looks like it was knocked over by a poacher's prey. Well spotted. Let's go on. You taking me to a church? It's never a bad time to confess your sin. my target. Holy oh, shit. Sorry. That was pretty bad. He could have freaking made us I'm pretty sure at that distance we would become deaf at least for a few days. Oh my god, but let's <sighs> I'll take it to mean that he didn't do it on purpose cuz I'm not I hope he didn't do that because we're sleeping with his wife. It's all right, just a scratch. Probably a splinter. Are we going after whatever it was? Let's not push our luck. I don't want our story to end up like the Baduna chieftain and the hunter. Okay, let's go. Gotta be a little bit wary of this guy though. I don't know if I trust him all that much. <laughs> they built the chapel after the massacre of the Baduna people. You still haven't told me how that happened. The hunter became the chief and moved in with his family. It wasn't the first time that kind of thing had happened. But one thing did happen for the first time. The wounds the bear had inflicted on the real chief were less serious than they seemed. <gasps> a few days later, he came back and claimed what was his. But the hunter wasn't so sure. He was the chieftain now. <sighs> this is kind of like talking about me and Jim and his wife, the whole affair thing too. But I think that... I think we should take the chief's side because it was his to begin with and... The only reason the hunter became the new chief was because they thought the old chief was dead. But he's not dead, so... Yes, but the hunter won his new identity by leaving the old chief to his fate. He betrayed his friend, I agree with you. As did many of the Badunas. But the rest of the village didn't see it that way. The Badunas were split into supporters of the new chief and the old one, and, well, you know how it all ended. Elliot, I have a problem. I think Delphine is cheating on me with another man. Whoa. Some nights when I lie down next to her in bed, her hair smells of gunpowder. Whoa. Someone who regularly handles guns is touching her. Do you have any idea who it could be? Honestly, he's giving us a chance to confess right now. He already knows it's us, so... Oh my god. Jim, I'm so sorry, man. I... I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Jim. I should have told you before. I don't even know how it started. I... Jim, please, put the gun down. Yeah, Jim, put it down. Who the heck? You're late.
What? You know why they built this chapel? We know. Typical Americans. They find that a bunch of crazies from some wacky religion have killed each other, and they build them a church, eh? <laughs> As if the dead give a damn about their Christian god. Jim, what's going on? I told you, it's a surprise. Who's going in? He is. Me? Trust me. Ah. Considering you wanted to kill me just now. Oh, man. Yeah, you believe in Godness? Yeah, although I doubt splashing your face with water has much to do with it. So we're in a church, a very run-down church that no one visits anymore. Ooh. Birds? Ooh. Someone had some fun at these critters' expense. Mutilating the rats. Mary Magdalene, the prostitute who repented and washed the feet of Christ. Hmm. A confessional. I have a gun pointing at your head. I could kill you right now. I'm not surprised. Today is International Point a Gun at My Head Day. I won't shoot. I'm here to help you. <laughs> yeah? Look under your knees. What is this? To you, just a bunch of scribbles. But to someone who knows what he's looking at, it could be prison bars for Capone. It's probably accounting records, right? Huh. But yeah, either way, Ness is not really the kind of guy that would be knowledgeable in that kind of thing. What, he hates reading so much he sees a book as a prison sentence? Very funny, Ness. Your financial specialist Garrison, he'll know what to do. Accounting records. Why are you doing this? What do you care? I'm serving you Capone's head on a golden plate. Don't ask questions. Just beat it, Ness. The sooner you set Garrison to work, the sooner all this will be over. They want me to arrest him. Hmm. God, I hate cops. Carmine? Please, no. Why? He, he threatened my kids. Capone? No, you're his right-hand man, his chief executioner. He's lost his mind. He suspects everyone and everything. He has to be stopped. Don't kill me, for my kids' sake. You remember Don Prescott? 33 years on the force, my first partner. You left his face in such a mess, they had to make him a clay mask so his family could look at him at the funeral. Capone wanted him dead. What about Amber Fisher, 15 years old? You held her prisoner for three days. She committed suicide only hours before we came to rescue her. I don't need to remind you what you did to her, do I? I was following orders. No. Capone orders you to kill. You improvise. You enjoy it. You can't do this. Elliot, your cop. Don't do it. Kill an unarmed man and it'll haunt you your whole life. I deserve a trial. We're cops, not killers. Jesus, where'd you control your anger? 
Weren't you the most honest man in Santa Esperanza? You're a cop, dude. Plus, he just Go gave you Capone. Don't let him suspect a thing. Capone stuff. And when I bring him to justice, you'll testify against him. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ness. Thank you. Well done. I made that mistake once. Only once. And it still torments me. Let's go. I'm surprised he's still a buddy buddy with me. <laughs> when did this happen? Before Jim died, obviously, so. Congratulations, Carmine. Great performance. Oh no! Yes. Don't worry. I'm not going to touch that. Thank you. Thank you. I always keep my word. If Capone finds out what you made me do, he'll kill me. Uh, that won't happen. You have my word. Thank you. Thank you. Who is that? Oh! <laughs> Who the hell is that? Well, I think Capone is going to need a new right hand man. Stroke of luck. Now, all we need to do is be careful. See what Garrison can find. Jim, about Delphine? Shut it. First we finish Capone. Then we talk. Alone again, Ness. Oh, don't tell me your friends let you down again. Lucky you got me, huh? I'm, I'm losing my mind. Oh, man. Oh, he was working for a lot of... He was looking for a lot of missing children. Oh, I can move. Okay. Some of them have been found. Some of them still missing. We're pretty decorated. Oh shit. It's only logical that Doctor should abandon you. He just told him you're screwing his wife. Honest and moronic. But what about the others? What will they think of you? Untouchables. Superintendent Ness retires. Interrogation. Alice. It's funny. 
You don't mind giving half your earnings to some two-bit thief who walks into your restaurant, but when your friends are in danger... No, please, no. Clearly, we're being tormented by our nightmares. You can hear repeating, chanting the four people's names over and over again. Holy shit, that scared me! Garrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. We've done a lot of bad things, even though we're a cop. The wire was tapped. They broke into my house. Why did you get me mixed up in this? Alice! Garrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. Alice! Alice is that new girl, right? The... Cop. Daphine, no! Not you! I was followed, Elliot. From the diner. What are you mixed up in? Whoosh. Oh, up with your secret sweetheart. Duffine, no, not you. Don't worry, Duffine, I'm coming. I guess my subconscious is trying to tell me that trying to chase after Sophia, Capone's granddaughter, is a bad idea. That's what all this is about. And everything from our past is kind of compounding to all the nightmares that we're having right now. Oh god. 
Elsie, no. Oh. <laughs> no. What are you going to do when you're done crying? Now you don't even have the option of getting drunk. We're a failure. He didn't even have the cojones to finish off his goon in the church. I doubt you'll be able to deal with the real problem. We're a failure. The only thing you ever did right was put me away. How'd you do it, huh? How? Tell me. That's the spirit of you. I'm sure this guy you believe in, in your own way, approves of strength, right? Die. That's right. Yes, kill me. Die! You know which part of yourself you're feeling, don't you? Die! 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 